So I just tried to record this and got a little bit too flagrant in certain moments. So I'm going to do it again. Sean Strickland at the UFC 297 media day was confronted by a media member with some very, very targeted questions at him. And it got very, very interesting. And now the world has been introduced to our little Sean Strickland is basically how I see this. We've known Sean Strickland for a very long time. He's always been our guy. Whenever there was a fight night main event that he was on, he would always give one of these media days. And now that he's the champion, the world is being introduced to our little Sean Strickland. And this is very, very interesting. The media member starts asking some targeted questions towards Sean Strickland that we're going to go through in this little clip here. We've also got him, this same media member, retweeting something, asking for Sean Strickland to be suspended from UFC 297, saying that his language went way beyond anything acceptable. There's also some talks about people wanting him to be stripped of his title for some of the things that he said at this press conference that we're going to listen to. Also... The same media member, and I don't think anyone else has really picked up on this yet, at least I haven't seen it on Twitter, asked Mayra Bueno Silva about Sean Strickland and some of the stuff that he said in the past, and she absolutely shut him down. Shout out to Mayra Bueno Silva. Let's have a look at what Sean Strickland got up to at his media day in this little three-minute clip that we're going to listen to today. I'm glad to hear it. it's been great. Are you Canadian? Uh, of course I am. Are you part of the fucking opposition? Are you? Uh, I, don't... I think it's so fitting, by the way. I'm sorry for the uh, quality of the mic here. It's so fitting that Sean Strickland's microphone has the quality of a Modern Warfare 2 COD lobby. <laughs> it's so perfect for what he goes off to say in this. That he has the quality of mic of like an, a teenager on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Absolutely fitting, but we're going to listen. I'm glad to hear it. it's been great. Are you Canadian? Uh, of course I am. Are you part of the fucking opposition? Are you? Uh, I don't know how to phrase that. You, I mean, you got like fucking... Uh, yeah. Well, I did want to ask you... Did you vote for Trudeau? Uh, you know, I'm not going to say. And, and let me tell you something right now, but man says he's not going to say. Like, if you ask a motherfucker, did you vote for Biden? He's like, well, I'm not going to say. That's none of your business. He voted for fucking Biden. Sean, so, hey. Sean, I'm glad... I want to be very clear that Sean Strickland, upon looking at this man in the audience, immediately sussed him out as someone that he was going to have a confrontation with. Okay? That's what's so good about Sean Strickland. Upon merely setting his eyes on this person at the media day that was about to ask him a question, he has immediately understood that he is going to be getting into a confrontation of some kind with this guy and immediately sussed him out. I said, that's none of your business. He voted for fucking Biden. Sean, so, hey. Sean I'm glad you've had great experiences. So this is, right. this is what I'm talking about, you guys. The enemy. The enemy of Canada. Sure. Sure. All right. That's what it's got to be. It's got to be. Uh, we've got a pretty supportive gay and lesbian yeah. community in this city. I did want to ask you about something you wrote a couple of years ago. You said, if I had a gay son, I would think I should. Oh, look, another, another reason I'm saying yeah. the swamp, you guys. The swamp. You Immediately, the guy starts asking some very targeted questions at Sean Strickland based on some things that he said in the past about if he had a so-and-so son. I'm glad that the mic quality is not that good because maybe I'll be able to get this by and actually upload this to YouTube. But the guy starts digging up some of the stuff that Sean Strickland has said in the past. And if you want to play that game with Sean Strickland, there's endless amounts of material. Um, but the guy asks a very targeted question. A basically gotcha question to Sean Strickland to try and expose him to the world for being a this phobic, that phobic, this ist, that ist, is basically what he's trying to do. And uh, Sean Strickland starts going at him, at him again. And I would think I've. Oh, look, another, another reason I'm saying yeah. the swamp, you guys, the swamp. You become a champion, you become a star, and, and someone says. Let me ask model. you something. Are you, are you, are you gay? Are, have the chance no, to are, interact with are, a more diverse. Are you. Guy. Let me. And the guy's just like diversity, lesbian, transsexual, and he's like the guy. You can hear almost the anger in the media's members, in the media members' voice, where he's like, "I'm gonna finish my point here, Strickland. I'm gonna finish my point. I've been waiting all year to get you on this, and I'm not gonna let you interrupt me with your Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two level mic. I'm going to get my point across here." And he starts getting. <laughs> 
<laughs> he starts really getting a bit emotional as he's trying to get across his question. Um, because Strickland has said so much terrible. Like, not I won't even say I won't even say some of them are terrible. I think it's just funny. But you know, things that could be perceived as terrible by certain types of people in this world. And uh, Sean Strickland immediately starts asking him if he's gay. Immediately. Oh, like another, another reason I'm saying to you, the swamp, you guys, the swamp. You become a champion, you become a star, and, and someone says... Let me ask model. you something. Are you, are you, are you gay? Are... <laughs> That's his immediate response to try and go at this media member, is to turn it back on him. As if, oh, have I actually personally affected you with this type of stuff that I've been saying in the past? But the guy says, you're a champion now and a star now, so I think it's... So basically, the guy's noticed that Sean Strickland's now a massive name on the world stage. So he's like, well, people need to know about the things that you said when you weren't as big of a name. Because I'm telling you, a lot of people are only going to be introduced to Sean Strickland this weekend. He's trending on Twitter right now because it's just going everywhere. This has 5.4 million views, 85,000 likes. This is crazy. Okay, he's trending right now in sports. And uh, <laughs> no one in the NBA would ever do what Sean Strickland does. But basically, Sean Strickland was our little secret in the MMA world, basically. Where he would have a fight night card, it would get 150,000 views on the Mac Life's YouTube channel, and we'd all chuckle along in our own little safe space where we were allowed to laugh at the things that Sean Strickland was saying. But now he's in front of the world. So our little, sh our little secret of Sean Strickland has now been put in front of the world, and this guy's trying to expose him in front of the world is basically what he's doing. The chance no, to come back with a more diverse... Are you... Let me... Are, are you gay? Can I, hear, can I get an answer? Well, no, I'm asking... I'm, this is a part of... Are you, are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. Oh! You... Oh, dear, dude. That is just... That is interesting to hear. I'm going to try and keep my own personal takes out of this. Because it's a very tricky situation. <laughs> I'm an ally of the community. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and keep my own uh, personal takes out of this video. And I'm going to leave the personal takes and personal opinions to, for Sean Strickland to express in this video. That is so funny, though. How Strickland immediately starts asking him that. Are you gay? Can I, hear, can I get an answer? Well, no, I'm asking. I'm, this is a part of, are you, are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. Oh, you. Oh, that is... Oh, whatever. Anyway, I'm not going to dwell on anything and start giving my own opinions because this could get really interesting. But that is so interesting to hear. I mean, I have the community, actually. Interesting. Sean Strickland, what you got to say? Okay. If you had a son and he was like, you know, yeah, son, he was gay, you'd be like, oh, man, you don't, you don't want a grandkid? No problem with it. Oh, man. Well, dude, you're a weak fucking man, dude. You're like, you're part of the fucking problem. You elected Justin Trudeau. Like, when you fucking, when he sees the bank accounts, like, you're just fucking pathetic. And and the fact that, the fact that you have no fucking backbone and, and has he shut down your fucking country and seized bank accounts, you ask me some stupid shit like that, go fuck yourself. Move the fuck up. Oh. Oh. And Sean Strickland gets extremely based. Now, this is going to get him some hatred from certain types, but this is going to get him some massive amounts of adoration from others. So if he does win this weekend, there's a lot on the line for him. You know what I mean? He could propel into a different league. But if he loses, which I think he's going to, because I think all of this coming up on fight week and all of this trending and all of this buzz, I mean, Drickus ain't got none of this stuff going on right this is a real big topic now on twitter that's going all across the world everyone's talking about it whereas drickers is sort of like cool calm collected flying under the radar so i do think strickland's gonna lose but if he doesn't there's a lot on the line for strickland in this fight there's a lot on the line because he's either gonna get absolutely mocked and ridiculed afterwards if he loses from these certain types ah uh, it's, it's this is now way more interesting this weekend sean strickland Dude, he starts talking about Trudeau and voting for this, and he, he he transitions it away from what the guy was trying to get him on, basically with the gotcha stuff that he was going for. Gone man, really, that doesn't really coward. answer the question, but I did want to ask also things you said about the trans community. You said uh, this past, and just like clockwork, he goes on to the next thing that he's going to try and get him on. So he's tried to get him on this, then he brings up this old thing that he said. Now, now we move on to this other community that you've offended in the past, and how fitting for this to take place in Canada. 
Canada, you've got some explaining to do, okay? You've got some real explaining to do. It's so perfect. I knew something like this would happen in Canada. To be fair, I'm surprised he didn't get in more trouble for what he was calling Drickus at the press conference of UFC 297, which was also, I believe, in Canada, although it might not have been. Um, but maybe at the press conference this weekend, it will be. No, I don't think it was in Canada, was it? But either way, I thought he would get in more in tru- more trouble for calling him the F, the fucking F word, if we can call it that. Um, but now it's all coming up. So he moves on to another community that he's going to try and get Sean Strickland uh, in trouble with, basically. So things you said about the trans community, you said uh, this past October when they announced the Bud Light sponsorship that you'd go so hard on Bud Light in your next fight, they'll have to accept me or denounce me when uh, when they know what and we'll know what they stand for. Are you this guy's like, hey, this Canadian's not that Canadian. Are you still going to use your fight time to kind of speak on that? Here's the thing about Bud Light. Here's the thing about Bud Light. Sean Strickland at the moment doesn't know the thing about Bud Light yet because this is all sprung on him. Like he's asking, it, he, in this media day, he was joking around. He was talking about Ian Gary this, Drickers Duplessis that, Israel Adesanya this. He was jumping around. I could do a whole other video on the other stuff that he was talking about. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh God, <laughs> oh God, this guy's been doing some digging on some of the stuff I've said in the past. And now it's like, he doesn't really know the thing about Bud Light, you guys. So here's the thing, you guys. Ten years ago, to be trans was a, what? A mental fucking illness. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, Sean Strickland, man. What a fucking cunt. What an absolute bigot, eh? God, what a bigoted problem with society he is. Oh, God. (laughs) Sean Strickland on the world stage, huh? (laughs) You would never, you would never hear this. You would never hear this from any other person in any other sport, but Sean Strickland. <laughs> Sean Strickland's just that guy, I guess. This is the role, this is the role he's filling in the uh, in the sporting world, and it is trending across the world. So uh, this is the uh, this is Sean Strickland. This is our little secret that we had in the MMA community on the world stage. Remember when we were watching him on the Mac Life? When he had a UFC fight night main event against Nasadi Namavov, it was different. You know what I mean? It was our little community that we had, our little corner of the internet where we'd go and watch a Strickland interview and laugh our heads off the entire time. But now there's real world repercussions. And I bet you if he wins, Dana right now and the UFC are probably thinking Drickus. Here's some HGH. You know, you know what I mean? Like, you need to take this guy out. We don't need this heat right now at the top of our sport because while Strickland has a belt, they can't actually do anything. The MMA fan base is very based. Very based. It's not like they can take the belt away from him for this because the, the fan base will revolt over that. If he was a contender, they could maybe suppress him enough or do something about him being in the UFC or having mic time. But as a champion in the main event of a pay-per-view, they can't really do anything about him. It's such an interesting situation. And now all of a sudden, people like you have fucking weaseled your way in the world. You are, you are an infection. You are the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of fucking you. Now, this infection thing, I will say, has been taken by a lot of media members to mean that he called him an infection on the world because he is a certain three-letter word that rhymes with day. You know what I mean? That's what this has been taken to mean. I don't think it's what it means. I think he's calling him just a weaselly little guy that's trying to rile up you know, controversial things and trying to like bring up old topics that Strickland's gone after. Like he's not calling him an infection because he thinks he's homosexual. He's not calling him an infection because he thinks he's of the Jeff Molina variety. Let's just keep it coded for now. He's calling him an infection because he's the type of guy who's basically trying to coax Sean Strickland into being cancelled on the world stage. Now Strickland played his hand in this as well. 
But that's what he's going after here. That's that's what Sean Strickland's trying to do. But the word you're an infection on the community has been used to, to basically suggest that Sean Strickland called him that because of his orientation, which is not the case. That's not what Strickland was going for. But we continue. And the best thing is, is the world's not buying it. The world's not buying your fucking bullshit you're fucking peddling. The world is not saying, you know what? You're right. Fucking chicks have dicks. The world's not saying that. The world's saying, no, there are two genders. I don't want my kids being taught about, you know, who they could fucking school. I don't want my kids being taught about, you know, their sexual preference. Like, dude, this guy is a fucking enemy. Uh, you want to look at the fucking enemy to our world? It's that motherfucker right there asking these stupid fucking questions. Sorry, I'm, I, I told you UFC has been nicer. Lance, Lance am, I, am I still doing this? Am I, did I cross any lines? Yeah. What the fuck? I didn't say the F word. See, that's interesting because that shows that now that Sean Strickland's champion, I'm going to try and keep my own opinions out of this, but that shows that now Sean Strickland is champion. That guy that he's referencing off, off to the side is a UFC employee that they've now got watching him at these media days. They didn't have that before, okay? Strickland used to be able to sit down at these media days in a much smaller room on a much smaller fight night card in the Apex and say basically whatever he wanted. And now basically he's, he's, he's been told by a UFC employee, you can't, say the F <laughs> you can't say the F word anymore because Strickland used to chuck that out a lot in his older interviews and even at the press conference with Drickus before. But now it's interesting because the UFC, that shows you how on edge the UFC are with having Strickland as their now middleweight champion of the world. Uh, that they've got a guy monitoring him at these press conferences, seeing if he slips up and says something he shouldn't. Because I bet you now there's going to be fines involved in what Strickland is saying at some of these press conferences. Um, but yeah. You just brought this fucking guy in here to piss me off. So that's that. That's Sean Strickland trending on Twitter. 5.4 million views on this post. There's other posts with 4 million, 2 million, 1 million. This has gone everywhere, okay? But the guy that asked Sean Strickland the question is now agreeing with someone that is calling for Sean Strickland to be stripped of his belt, arguably. MMA fighter Sean Strickland called a journalist who asked about his own awful comments about so-and-so an infection and way beyond. Strickland should be suspended from UFC 297. His language went way beyond anything remote remotely acceptable. And the guy that asked him this question reposted that. So first of all, you know what, what side this guy was on before he even asked those questions. And now he's saying that Sean Strickland or agreeing with the idea of Sean Strickland being suspended from an event for things he said in the past. There's no way he's being suspended from the event of something he's just said at that press conference. So basically, because of the things that he's said, look at this caption here. Sean Strickland makes some of the most so-and-so comments by an athlete. They weren't in that very press conference. They were the things that he said in the past. So now they're trying to cancel a world champion from having a world championship, which is a completely different realm that we ain't seen before in sports. So this guy is wanting that, and there's more to this as well if we scroll down here. You do know the entire card's built around having Sean Strickland as the main event. Yes, and Sean Strickland should be removed from the card and suspended for the blah, 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 ever made by an American pro athlete. Are you st UFC, are you sticking by Strickland and his horrific comments? <laughs> the funniest part is, in MMA, this just don't work. In the NBA, this might work and they would suspend him for this many games and that many games. I don't know how much longer the MMA world is going to allow this not to work because now they're owned by Disney and Dana might not be around too much longer. So maybe in five years time, there will be real serious repercussions for this. But look at this, 19 likes on this sort of backlash tweet that he's got about, are you really going to stand behind him? And <laughs> bro must be new here. This ain't the NBA, lil bro. The journalist should be suspended. Bad take, removing him from the card because of something he said isn't fair. You're so pathetic. You know what I mean? Like people are now going after him. And the same media member, again, I'm going to try and keep my personal opinions out of this. The same media member at Mayra Bueno Silva's press conference, I'm going to play this at the end here, <laughs> asked her this 
because he was still salty about Sean Strickland getting one over on him and going after him. Listen to what she, this uh, media member that just got into this altercation with Sean Strickland asked about Mayra Bueno Silva, who, by the way, is a lesbian female fighter who's now fighting for a belt this weekend against Raquel Pennington. And this is just the way that MMA is different than the rest of the world. This is why NBA, MMA is different than the rest of the world. Can you imagine if they, uh, a NBA player said a comment like Strickland and they asked a women's NBA player to tune in? This is why MMA is different because they're just different athletes mentally than, for better or worse, trying to keep my own opinions out, they're different than others. Listen to what this same media member asked her afterwards to try and rile up more discussion about Sean Strickland. Because I bet you, if she took his side, let me play it. Uh, on a more sour note, uh, Sean Strickland, he made a sexist comment about your fight with Raquel. I know you've responded. What will you say if you see him this week? I love you, Sean. <laughs> oh. He's very funny. Uh, my... I love you, Sean. He's very funny. It's just different because you know what that guy wanted from that. Shout out to Mayra Bueno Silva, by the way. Because she had power there. She had big power there to do something about Sean Strickland, but she don't care. I love Sean Strickland. He's very funny. He's very funny. And then, the, I bet you the media member asked this because then you could have the headlines so-and-so women's title fight contender on the same card speaks out against so-and-so Sean Strickland for his terrible so-and-so phobic comments. I bet you he was fishing for that headline and she just shut it down. Shout out Mayra Bueno Silva. Either way. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, little Sean Strickland. <laughs> Our little buddy Sean Strickland at, <laughs> at these media days has met the world stage. Normally it would be, oh, this went a little bit viral on YouTube. It got 180,000 views. Now it's, he's getting millions and millions of views worldwide. And I bet you there's going to be a greater discussion about what should be done if he does win this weekend. So I bet you anything the UFC's hoping Drickus wins. I still think Drickus wins. But there's, uh, there's a lot more on the line now. Because if Strickland does pull it off somehow, in a tough matchup, in my opinion, for himself, there's, there's going to be some greater conversations about what, what's going to happen in MMA moving forward, let's just say. See you later. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>